All right, guys, it is super early in the morning. I'm gonna go on a shark dive with my wife on my friend's boat that he works on. And um, yeah, we're gonna go look for some taco after, jump in the water. Um, it's pretty good. It's gonna be pretty decent condition, so let's see what we can catch. Just finished swimming with the sharks. I'm gonna go dive for some taco, and I'm actually gonna do some little bit of cooking on a propane stove. Um, but first, gotta eat breakfast of champions. Who's to be? Right there from Malama Market. Guys, we are here at the beach now. I got my mask and fins, three prong. Got some food to cook up, a stove, and right in front of the beach. I'm gonna go jump in the water, try to see if we can find any taco. And um, if you guys have been following my stuff, you guys know my GoPro died uh, officially, so I'm gonna be GoPro less until I can buy another one. Otherwise, gonna jump in the water, try to catch some taco, maybe see some other fish. All right, see you guys after. Guys jumped out of the water. I'll show you guys what I caught in just a little bit. But we're gonna start cooking some lunch. Got some shrimp, got some mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. Say hi. Hi. Got some shrimp cooking, some vegetables, some bell peppers, onions, mushrooms. And look, all that cooked shrimp right now. Shane boys cruising. Got a little coconut right there. All right. Lunch is served. All right, guys, back from a long day at the beach and doing the shark tour this morning. And I've got some fish that my buddy gave me yesterday. I'm going to cook the uhu. But I'm gonna do it a little bit different style than I have in the past. I'm actually gonna make uhu nuggets, so this should be interesting. I'm just gonna clean it up and then fillet it with my pen fillet knife set, which you guys know all too well. So yesterday, the conditions were legendary, and I had to work because it was a federal holiday, and at our company, I have to run the work days on our federal holiday, so really stuck I can't even take the days off usually when the water is really nice but I can ask my friends for some fish so I actually did a little trade for this nice size uhu I'd say it's about a solid five pound nah, four or five pounder perfect size eating a little bit too big for my glass um, pan that I use to bake but I am going to fillet it and then I'm gonna cut all the skin off and cut them in little cubes like little nuggets so We'll fry that up, should be really good, really excited. Let's go ahead and clean this fish right now 
and I'll get back to you guys. Right, so I cleaned the fish, or I halfway cleaned it. What I did was I scaled it just because I'm gonna fillet it. I don't need to clean out the guts because I'm actually gonna be cutting around it. And I tried on this side to cut it with the scales on. It just doesn't work, so don't try it. I mean, I guess if you're really good, you can try it. I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this and we'll see how that comes out. All right, so I think I did a pretty good job filleting the uhu. It's not a very traditional way to prepare it, but this, these are the slabs right here, how they came out. So we're gonna cut these up into little nugget-sized, bite-sized pieces, and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna cook it in just a minute. Oh, all right, so I'm actually gonna skin it. So how we're gonna do that is, I'm just gonna take the whole slab right there, and I'm just gonna pinch it with my pointer finger and just get it going. What I'm doing is cutting 45 degree angle, but you don't wanna press down too hard because you will just cut the skin off. So you're just gonna drag it, hold this end. I'm having a hard time right here. Just gonna drag it down. It might actually be better with my fillet knife. Make sure you're getting that 45 degree angle. See all that skin right there? I'm gonna try to keep all the meat on. There it is. So now you got a perfectly good slab of uhu filet. We're gonna cut this up. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna cut it up right now. Cut down here. Like that. You know, I might actually make this side a little bit thinner too. And then cut little nuggets perfect size little nuggets fry these bad boys up all right so the next thing we want to do is season our catch or our friend's catch in this case and what that's going to mean is some garlic salt some pepper some oh some hawaiian salt and then we're just gonna mix it all up. All right, you're gonna need some mayonnaise, some Japanese breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, panko. And what I like to do is throw some garlic salt inside with the panko just to give it that extra garlicky flavor. We're gonna take our uhu nuggets, dip it in the mayonnaise like this, panko it, and then get it ready for the fry. All right, all we have to do now is add some oil, turn it on to some medium to high heat, let it heat up, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop the uhu nuggets inside of the pan, fry it up. So, all of this is fried up. I have my grandma's special sauce. I also bought some sweet chili sauce that usually people use for lumpia, but it's really good on fried fish as well. Time to sample the fish with the sauce. Oh, 
Oh my god. That fast. Alright, my wife is gonna do a taste test with the uh, Uhu nugget and the sauce. Good? Mm -hmm. Woo! Just my guinea pig. <laughs> 